Are you ready for the chance of a lifetime? Opportunities <sighs> like this, they don't come often. Well, I mean, we do actually have games every now and then, but... You know, this this time, I want to see you on your baddest behavior. Oh. <laughs> on your most knowledgeable behavior. And fuse that knowledge into the movement that is pressing the right answer. Now, please, make us proud. We want to make it rain mm. with Mimir tokens. Make this is rain. a play-to-win game where you have paid three Mimir tokens. And you're fighting for the prize pot of 1,500 Mimir. Ah. It's a lot. Oh, yeah, I like that. I like that. I love handing it out. In the last <laughs> game, there was only one winner. So yep. imagine being the only winner of all these. <sighs> what have we got, Christina? What type of lovely game do we got this lovely evening? It's Olympics. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you know we love Olympics here in Sweden. Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, we do. We are uh, good at uh, skiing. So good at skiing. So good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually thinking about starting my own team for bobsled. Oh, that's... Yeah, because we don't have a female team, so... Oh... I'm gonna be at the top. I'm gonna win. Like the automatic no... winner. Yeah, because there are no... <laughs> Look at this girl. Name. I mean, she is she is clever. I'm smart. She is clever. Yeah. I want to see you guys being clever. Mm -hmm. This is a points-based game. Ten questions. You know the drill. Each point... Uh, have different uh, each question have a different amount of points some will have one point some will have two points But the only thing that is for certain is that I'm all just up <laughs> <laughs> As always and I want to get this show rolling. Oh Do you want to help me with that Christina? Oh, yeah question number one an Olympic gold medal is made mostly out of what metal copper silver gold or nickel? All right, all right, mm. you know, I gotta say yeah? I have got to say I feel like we are being a bit tricky right now. Because, <sighs> you know, it's it's right there in the title of the question. An Olympic gold medal. Yeah. Could so, it be a trick question? Could it be a trick question, you know? If, if, if I just uh, had to answer, if my brain was just... Uh, the, the first thing that pops up into my head. Yeah. I don't know if I'm being an idiot here, but it mm. kind of feels like... Um, gold but the correct answer is what silver yeah <laughs> and olympic gold medals have some gold in them but they're mostly made out of silver all oh, right mm. right tricky it's uh, you know the thing where they bite in the in the metal yeah you know i think it's to check and see how much <laughs> gold it is in it you know gold is very soft so if you can dent it then it's uh, a lot of gold mm. okay all right question number two jeff let's two, yeah. do it are you ready <laughs> I was born ready, and I know, know you were, and you have to be more ready than ever. So, question number two. What is the Olympic motto? Faster, higher, stronger, or refuse to lose, or dare to be great, or man's reach exceeds his grasp. Hmm. Now, the, these are all very um, nice mottos. Sounds like a title of a song. Yeah. Like most of them do. Oh, wait. <laughs> I feel what like, ha think? haven't I heard that, that, uh, the, the first one is a song by Daft Punk, right? Right, that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, the oh. second one is, uh, um, I don't know, it's like Eye of the Tiger, right? Uh, the s third one is uh, Dare to be Great, oh, you're the best around, and nothing's ever gonna keep you down, you're the best around. And then Man's Reach Exceed His Crap, now the correct answer yeah. is Faster, Higher, Stronger. <sighs> I really thought that was a song. Right. Both? Yeah, I think yeah. it's both. Okay. Was well, Harder, Better, Stronger is the one with oh, that Oh, right. Fun. That's the title. Oh, yeah, okay. But, you know what? Let's head over to question number tres. So, which of these animals were used in the 1900, 1900 Olympics? Elephants, camels, pigeons, or bears? Okay, hmm. so they were used in the Olympics. Which one of these animals was used in the Olympics? So, what would PETA say? PETA, yeah. PETA would not be happy. Well, what's the correct answer? <laughs> pigeons. All right, it's <laughs> pigeons. It seems plausible, you know, I don't know, they released the pigeons to symbolize the, the peace mm. in the world and all that. But also, I, I kind of feel like way back then in the 1900s, I wouldn't have been surprised if someone, you know, strode in on an elephant just to, um, just I was, it was hoping cool. for that to be the correct answer, actually. Yeah, yeah. I, me too, me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
So how are we feeling? I feel like it's a good night. It's a Sunday evening. You know, we had the weekend vibes, but here we always have the Mimir vibes. And that is just the passion of handing away lovely Mimir tokens. So let's make that happen. Question number four. How was the oldest Olympic... How old was the oldest Olympic medal winner? 58 years, 64 years, 68 years, or 72 years? Oh. Oldie hmm. but goldie, huh? Oh, very much so. Hmm. I feel like any of these ages are uh, a, a very uh, impressive age to be to win a, a gold medal uh, or an Olympic medal. Now, the correct wow. answer here yeah. is 72 years. What? Yeah. No, stop. Yeah, no, no, for real. That is super impressive. Yeah. So, uh, I feel I like am shocked to the it core. It feels reassuring that uh, that kind of means that when I am 72, yeah. I will have... It's it's within the, the realm of possibilities. It is. That actually feels pretty nice. That, that I will win a gold medal. Oh. Um, my sled Olympics. team. Mm. <laughs> Could you imagine us being like old ladies <clears throat> winning the bobsled? Oh. <laughs> okay, question number five. Which which athletes enter last in the parade of nations at the opening ceremony? Sprinters, Greece, the host, disabled athletes. All right. I'm thinking so hard. Hmm. Who enters last? Um. Oof, uh, this one is a hard one. Yeah, um, I can tell you what is the cor incorrect answer. Okay. And it's, it's sprinters. Oh. Uh, and I think that's because they're the fastest. <laughs> now the correct answer is so the stop. hosts. <gasps> oh. Yeah. So, uh, I mean the... the yeah, uh, of course. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, everybody knows that hosts are the slowest. Yeah. So we're very good <laughs> at talking fast, saying lots of stuff, but yeah. you know... We're not very fast. You're gonna walkers. have to wait for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we divas. Yeah, we're divas, <laughs> and we're just thinking about quizzes and uh, yeah. So, but I mean, it's more specifically the the host nation. Yeah, exactly. Uh, right. Right. So, how are we feeling? Are we ready for question number six? Approximately, how many countries compete in the Olympics? Is it 50, 100, 200, or 400? Oh, so many. Now, one might even wonder, how many countries are there even in the world? That's what I'm thinking about. How many are there? Yeah, perhaps oh. that could give a clue as to uh, how many are participating in the Olympics. Mm. But uh, the correct answer is... 200. Yeah, approximately 200. So that's a huge portion of the... Uh, uh, total number of countries that are in the world, which is like crazy impressive that like the whole world almost I would gathers. want the whole world to join in. Yeah, I would also want that. I wonder how we can make that happen. Mm. We're all united as one in uh, these uh, competitions. Oh, that's very kumbaya and I love it, Jeff. <laughs> that's so it. nice. Wow, what a kumbaya moment we're having here. We should have more countries uh, join Mimir yes. than the Olympics. We can actually make that happen. I, I feel like that's more, you know, the Olympics, that's that's a lot of bureaucracy, but you know, with, with <laughs> Mimir and the crypto, the power is in the hands of the people, and we're yes, gonna make it all of the countries join Mimir. So get on board and take mm. us to the next question. Yes, okay, question number seven. Where were the first Winter Olympic Olympics held? In Greece, in France, in the USA, or in Sweden? Okay, right. First ever Winter Olympics. What, what do mm. you prefer, looking at the Summer Olympics or the Winter Olympics? The Winter, of course. How come? Because uh, I'm Norwegian and Swedish, so... Oh, it's the, the only scheme. one where we're able to like the perform. Ski, man. <laughs> no, I'm watching it and my whole body's like... Ugh. I'm just skiing away, sitting in my sofa, pretending I'm skiing. It's weird. So the correct answer here is... France. France. Yep. Also very good at skiing. Mm. Um, now, uh, I feel a bit like Winter Olympics. It's like the fake Olympics because, I mean, the what? Olympics was like a real thing no. back in ancient Greece. Yeah. And they had no Winter Olympics. I mean, come on. Maybe they do. Maybe they did? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I'm hoping they oh, did. Okay, sure. What about the skiing? Well, maybe, maybe they just did. <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> That's nice. I'm making it all up. They probably didn't. 
Okay, yeah. so let's go. Question number eight. Which color is not one of the rings on the Olympic flag? Oh, this is a good one. Is it black, yellow, orange, or green? Oh, mm. I am very happy for those of you participants who are not dogs. Because it would be very hard. I mean, it's hard for all of the dogs who play this game to know. Because they are colorblind. <laughs> and they perhaps feel like... Uh, Gray, 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 gray. Yeah, I'm sorry, puppies. Yeah, I'm very get sorry this for one you. Wrong. Yeah. But the color that is not on one of the uh, the Olymp Olympic rings is, is orange. Oh, so I for sure thought it was gonna be black. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly because it's you no. feel like uh, That's the colors of the rainbow. Yeah, exactly. But mm. they pulled a sneaky on you. They sure did. They did you dirty. Mm -mm -mm. I'm sorry, people, but. Um, Life ain't fair sometimes, <laughs> and sometimes we just have to move on to the next question. Yeah, question number nine. Who organized the opening ceremonies for the 1960s Winter Olympics? Richard Nixon, Orson Welles, Walt Disney, or Vince Lombardi? Right, right. 1960s. <laughs> so I wonder who I, I would want to organize the opening ceremonies. Yes. And... Um, Obviously, I want us to do it, but if I can't choose <laughs> us, I have to come back to that to you on I that one. I would skin. That would be cool. Mm. Now, what's the correct answer here? Walt Disney. Right there we go, Walt Disney. Um, I'm gonna have to look that one up. This sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, did, did Mickey Mouse walk in? What what yeah, was right? that all about? Yeah. Sounds, sounds cool. Like, yeah, sounds like a lot of fun. Whole event. Mm. Okay. You know what so, else is fun? Uh, tell me, tell me immediately. The last question of the quiz. Okay, okay. We're gonna have so, some winners. so, uh, but uh, okay, just to just to get the lay of the land here. What yep. does it look like? How how many players are we? Are we in the lead? <sighs> oh. We have we have mm. some players in the lead. Will it be? Uh, <laughs> we got the names here. Oh. The tech team are supplying us. It's uh, Luca will it be Mol. Luca Mole only weddings. Cat, cat dead, cat, cat dead, dead, cat dead, Jeez, pug man. boy, <laughs> man artist, people. And lots more. Th okay. There's a separate dis discussion to have here about your, <laughs> your nicknames. It's, uh, you're making it hard for us. It's also kind of funny, I gotta say. Dead cat, really? Uh, <laughs> uh, no, that one's, that, that one's sad. Okay, you know, sorry. I feel all jazzed up. Do you want to take it away, Christina? I the final question. Okay. 1,500 with me tokens. Take it away. Yeah. Okay, question number 10. Final question. What organization serves as the governing body of the Olympics? The OIC, the IOC, the CIO, or the OCI? Oh, oh man. Boy, am I happy that I'm oh. not dyslectic because this <laughs> question is not making it easy. Oh. <sighs> Holy smokes, man. You know, okay. you see these, these uh, letters, but uh, which order were they in? Hmm? Um, this is not easy. We're gonna have to work for it. I mean, it's 1,500 <laughs> meme tokens, so... <sighs> oh, Ooh. right. Yeah, the, so there's lots of different uh, letter combinations here, but yeah. the correct answer, mm? the organization that serves as the governing body of the Olympics is... Tell me, Christina. IOC. Oh, the IOC. Yeah, did you Man, get it right? I am glad that I don't have OCD. <laughs> because then I I don't know really? what I would have done. Hello. It just stuff pops into my head. <laughs> okay, people. That was an intense game. The Olympics are intense as well, so I feel like we should we match that. Mm, and do we have some gold medal winners, some Mimir token winners? I believe we do, and I am very, very happy I'm for them. So excited to see who of you won this round. So uh, we actually had a lot of winners this game. Yeah, really? Forty-six winners. <gasps> oh, what? Yeah, we've all got the last one. It's a one celebration. Right? It's a celebration. Hallelujah! And we are handing out. The rewards. So 32.6 Mimir tokens yes. uh, for the entry okay. fee of three Mimir. So that's 11 times the investment. I mean, wow. I haven't heard investment opportunities like this in centuries. Mm -mm -mm. I'm calling my my banker right now. You know, this is where you put your money. <laughs> All right, people. Congrats wow. to. Uh, do we have the names? It's uh, Sika Tester. Uh, Sika Tester. Mm. Salsa Chips. Matt. Luna Catips. Nice, Matt. Richard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is this is tough. Okay. Luna's cat. Richard Droyset. I don't know. Oh. Never <laughs> give up, people. Nervous Carrot. 
Congratulations, Nervous Carrot. Uh, Great job. Uh, so many weird names showing up on the, my screen right Ray now. Ray Hypno, Wilson Cry. Oh, hope you feel better. I feel like I'm gonna get tricked again to say one of these like, uh, do you have Bend Over here? Bend Over, anyone? <laughs> okay, so, you know people, don't forget we have some major updates coming yep. up. Uh, I really love when we're jazzing it up. Yeah, and on the web version too, right? Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. So both the web version and the app. Yep. So uh, and it's also on uh, the stuff is coming to Google Play as well. Ooh, nice! Uh, you can watch the the leaderboard. You can also change username. <laughs> username. You guys really should change your name. Yeah, names. yeah, yeah. Perhaps Dead Cat could add like small Please. punctuation, so it's oh. easier for us to read it. Yeah, okay. And or also, I gotta it. say, I know of <laughs> course people will change their names to things that will be hard for us to pronounce or funny when we mm. say it. Yeah, make it and funny. I'm okay being at the butt end of the joke, I gotta say. <laughs> so lots of more stuff coming. Uh, we are looking forward to playing more games with you. Mm. Until the next time. Sayonara. Sayonara. Hey -do. Hey -do. Oh wait, no, 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 no. We got oh, messages stay with us. from the okay. <laughs> we got communication from mm. the other side. Okay, so <gasps> you don't want to miss this one. What is it? It's the Mimir Sunday airdrop. Oh, I love it when and we have the airdrops. And we're gonna make it rain. Oh, vivid. So make mm. sure that you actually, this is a great opportunity to invite your friends or family. Neighbors. So they can download the, the app mm. on Google Play or just send them the link and they can very easily just sign up with Google or, or just the email address. So they get in on the airdrop, they get some Mimir tokens yep. and then they can play all the types of the games. And you know, the more players we are, the more fun we have. Yeah, I for love this. Every so every new sign up, we add five Mimir tokens. Oh, that's and great. And also for every retweet. Okay, well, I mean, that's yep. great. That's great. So that, you know, we want to, it's like a good vortex of a, a feedback loop of just uh, endless of tokens mm. and fun and, uh, you know, stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Tokens. I ran out of words. Tokens, tokens, tokens. That's the most important thing. You want your tokens, so tell everyone, and we'll see you very soon. See you later. Bye.